I know it's super hard when you're depressed and struggling with your mental health to actually get to the gym in the first place. Working out has been one of the biggest things to improve my mental health and I have several mental health conditions including bipolar disorder which means I struggle with depression, anxiety and mania to hypomania sometimes and then I also have PTSD which means I end up with flashbacks, panic attacks, the works. But exercise for me is one of the biggest things that helps me keep my mental health stable and I'm going to give you some strategies of how you can do that yourself. I hope you don't mind me wearing my big fluffy onesie. I just wanted to be cozy today. <laughs> I do CrossFit and the reason I got into CrossFit is because back in 2016 when I'd been to the doctor I'd just been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and I'd experienced two let's just say attempts and I was at rock bottom. I was really struggling with medication and we couldn't find one that was working for me. It either made me feel like a zombie or it just didn't work at all or it made me worse. So I was in the break between trying a new medication and coming off another one and I was like is there anything else I can do to help my mental health and they said sleep seven to nine hours a night eat a relatively healthy balanced diet make sure you're including vegetables a good balance of all of the food group drink enough stress manage and exercise and they said to exercise the amount that they recommend per week I think it's 150 minutes or something it works out like 30 minutes over the space of five days something like that I was just told at the right moment and a CrossFit gym opened up nearby I'd already been doing like a little bit of weightlifting at home and it just looked like something that I would enjoy and I signed up and I was addicted to CrossFit immediately because it's so welcoming as a community it's so much fun there are so many different things to learn it's a sport but you also train with other people and people from all different shapes and sizes come and do CrossFit so it was so much fun I went from doing like three days a week to like five days a week immediately <laughs> my journey is a bit complicated I've done other videos on that on my channel but that's what really helped me and I know it's super hard when you're depressed and struggling with your mental health to actually get to the gym in the first place and that's why for me CrossFit worked so well because all I had to do was plan to turn up I didn't have to have the pressure of inventing a workout or knowing what to do I knew there would be a coach there that would lead me through it and give me all the guidance I need with all the compassion and support that I required I knew there would be a supportive community there too that would be encouraging towards me so it was just perfect and I set like a bare minimum goal of just showing up and even if I didn't want to try that hard that day I didn't have to but inevitably sometimes when we start with action and we turn up we get motivated halfway through we actually don't need to rely on motivation at all and then I would get motivated halfway through the session and then I'd be smashing it I was enjoying the workout and I was going for it and I noticed that would happen time and time again so I knew that all I had to do was show up and yeah there were some periods of time where I found it really difficult and I would drop a few days but without fail every week I would go to the gym and I found if I went any less than four times a week then my mental health would start to struggle and it's almost like I can't have more than two days off if I have like three days off then my anxiety starts to build there are occasions where I take like a week off because my body feels really sore and I just need a week off and I just try and cope with the negative mental health effects I get from that but for me most weeks I need to train four days a week from there over the last six years I've been doing CrossFit my journey's fluctuated a lot I've gone through a lot of different battles but the best thing about it is I very rarely experience bipolar episodes so that's episodes of depression or hypomania or mania I mainly sit in that like baseline in the middle sometimes when we fluctuates a little bit and I experience like some anxiety and some low mood but it doesn't go to those really deep severe depression or the top end of mania I never experience that anymore and if I do I have some medication that I can take that makes me feel better and then I just go back to the gym start getting back to my healthy routine and then I start to feel back to myself again I struggle a little bit with late nights and I've also cut out alcohol as well and implemented all of those other little lifestyle changes I mentioned they all really helped me and I always know if I do start to struggle then I just need to make sure I'm keeping an eye on all of those things and there has been some battles over the years like when my job got really stressful like that was a big issue and affected my mental health dramatically but now I've transitioned more into working online I do online programming and online coaching and I'm able to look after my mental health much better because of that working out not only helped me recover from my mental illness but I found a love for it and I do a sport that I now compete in regularly and it's also given me a new career I'm just super thankful for how far I've come and the fact that I discovered it in the first place if you're thinking of starting your fitness journey to help your mental health then please take this as encouragement to go for it find a sport that you enjoy maybe try CrossFit if it sounds like something you'd be into or find something that has a community I know a lot of people like spinning classes or other forms of classes that have a community and an instructor that you just have to show up to even if you just start with like walking that's one of the first things that I tried and it really did help me and it helps me now when I'm really mentally struggling and on those weeks where I have a week off 
and my mental health starts to get a bit out of hand, I will walk and it helps me. So don't just try one thing and if it doesn't work, give up. Have a think about a few different things that you could do. Trial a few different times in the day where you could go and do exercise and be compassionate towards yourself because you deserve to feel better. And this might not work for everybody, but it could work for you and I think it's worth a shot. If you'd like to know more about my whole CrossFit journey, watch this video next. Grab a cup of tea though, because it's long. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.